Welcome back to Silicon Valley. Today we wanted to give everyone a basic overview of the stages of mushroom cultivation. Not everyone has been exposed to this wonderful world yet, so we hope you enjoy. Thank you to all the new subscribers, and thanks for the great feedback. Tissue from a mushroom, or spores, are placed on an agar plate and the mycelium is allowed to grow. The best section of mycelium is transferred to a clean agar plate. This is repeated until a clean, single culture is isolated. Next, the clean plate is transferred into liquid culture. This is just water with dissolved nutrients. The mycelium is left to grow in liquid until it develops this consistency. The syringe of liquid culture is used to inoculate jars or bags of sterile, pressure-cooked grain. Here, we have used wheat. Once the mycelium has fully colonized this grain, it's ready to be spread to the bulk substrate on which it fruits. Much like the grain, the mycelium colonizes the bulk substrate. When conditions are right, the hyphae, which refer to the individual strands that compose the mycelium, begin to form knots. The hyphal knots are the first stage of mushroom formation. From here, the tight knots begin to form primordia, the beginnings of a fruit. Primordia grow into pins, which continue growing into full-size mushrooms. Pins, which the mycelium deems unnecessary, or in unideal conditions, will abort their growth and turn dark. Now it's time to pick your hard-earned efforts. 